You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole, and welcome back, Arianauts. We are doing Universe, the whole concert, song by song. And we're actually at Arian Anthony Lucasen's speech. So I'm very excited for this to hear him speak and uh, hear his thoughts on this project and just probably a little bit of his life and some of the members of this amazing project so i'm looking forward to this i hope you guys are as well thank you if you have been here for the whole universe concert and for my whole music reaction journey i really appreciate it let me know when you jumped into the journey with enter the chronic it really does uh mean a lot to me to know those things with you guys and let me know where y'all are from too all right let's see this this guy is very, very tall, even taller than me. Here we go. And the crowd was pumped to see him on the last one. Holy crap! Thank you so much for coming. We're so honored, we're not worthy. Well, they are worthy, I'm not worthy. So, if you were wondering who that tall bastard hippie was who suddenly got on stage, I am Iron. I am! So, Full House, man, I, I heard there's people like from all over the place. I think, I think there are 54 nationalities here, it's amazing. Wow, if you were there, let us know. I hope it was worth the trip, guys. Sorry about the weather. So yeah, this is the first time in 22 years actually that um, everyone is playing live. Wow. And you are here. Yeah, so sorry for not playing live more often, you know, but I think, you know, it's not my favorite hobby. In fact, it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> wow. there's, only, there's only one thing that I fear more than playing live. It's talking in public. Oh my gosh. Tough to be an entertainer. But that's your case. So yeah. I think the reason to do this was uh, the theater equation a couple of years ago. Were you guys there? Was anybody there? And like we saw the reactions of the people, you know. And People crying, people smiling, people laughing. It was amazing. I hope they were crying because they liked it. <laughs> anyway, Usually. we were like, we got to do this again. You know, we got to, it's how much, however much I fear playing live, we got to do this again. And we were thinking, you know, Good job, you. we were thinking, what are we going to do? You know, we were still in a theater kind of mind and we were like are we gonna do like Electric Castle or are we gonna do uh, uh, I don't know my own albums help me <laughs> the theater of everything I heard suggest and at one point my lovely girlfriend Lori my mom's name she, yeah whoa. so Lori she had the idea, she said, why not just do a best of area? Why not just do a rock show, you know? Wow, simple, simple, small, you know? Just like a little rock show. And I thought, well, okay, where are we gonna do it? So I thought about 013, because actually I played there, uh, <laughs> oh my God, it was 82 or something. Uh, a lot of you weren't even alive back then, right? Yeah, I wasn't. So, 
Uh, yeah, but it was another, a different location was still called the Northern Light, and then it went here, and it was 013, and I think it was 2,000 people, so I went here, the capacity, and uh, I stood there in the middle of the venue, and I was like, this is big. <laughs> we are never, ever going to fill this. So, so, I went to the guys of O30 and said, sorry guys, this is too big, this is too big. Oh. They said, what too big? First time aerial life, you know, wow, you're gonna fill it and we'll <laughs> make it even, you know, crazier, you'll fill it twice. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they said, yeah, we'll, yeah, and, and even crazier, we'll give you an option for a third one. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And the rest is history. We put it on Facebook. No promotion, nothing. And within one hour, the first show was gone. Two hours, second show was gone. We added the third show. One day it was gone. You guys are crazy! You guys are crazy. Yeah, Aaron Knox, y'all are crazy. And it was kind of funny, actually, because we started working on this whole thing, uh, like, um, Two years ago, yeah, we started, we worked on this for two years. And in the beginning, we had all these meetings here. We had this lovely production team. And we had these meetings like, how can we save money? How can we do it as cheap as possible, you know, as small as possible, cheap. And then we sold out, and then we had meetings. How can we spend money? Yeah, isn't that a better meeting? Like the... The original plan was we'll put a little TV there. <laughs> Maybe like a, like a t-shirt or something, a little poster. And after the meeting, it was like a 10 by 5 or 10 by 10 or a 15 by, I don't know. Huge screen with amazing visuals, by the way. Yeah, it looks awesome. And before, before we sold out, it was like, let's have a little bit of smoke. Can we have smoke? Yeah, it's not that expensive. And after the meeting, we got like a war going on here, you know, a war zone with all the bombs and CO2 and shit. <laughs> so it's anyway, yeah, I want to thank a lot of people. As I said, we worked on this for two years. And, and there's actually a hundred, hundred people involved in this. So to wow. thank them all would be very boring speech. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's already pretty boring, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> zoom, zoom, the girl's like... I'm oh, joking. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Wow. First off, I want to thank this amazing band behind me. I mean, you guys got to agree with me. Before. I can't get any better musicians than this, you know. Yeah. And then, of course, what about those singers, you know? 16 amazing singers, the best in the world. It's like... Yeah. And, of course, everyone behind the, the stage, behind the screen, the production team, the, the sound guys, the lighting guys, the merch guys. You know, I'm going to forget people, so I don't want... So I don't... <laughs> the visuals, the fireworks. Everyone. Actually, I also want to introduce you to two lovely ladies that are joining us this evening. It's Wilma and Betty. <laughs> yeah. I hope you got that reference. You gotta be an old bastard to get that one. I don't. Let me know. I am not an old Flintstone? bastard. Yeah. Oh my god! How did I not know that? My cast names are okay. Pebbles there's and Bam Bam. If I, I gotta sing aloud two people. One I already mentioned her. It's uh, Lori. Girlfriend. My mom. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, without her, you know. She came up with the idea, she made the storyboard, she helped everything, and so, yeah, big hey for Lori. Hey! And there's one other person. I forgot actually who that was. <laughs> now really, people think I'm the boss here, I'm not. You know, I got nothing to say here. I mean, I write a bit of music and try to play a bit of guitar, that's it. But I mean, Joost van der Broek, he is the man, you know, he arranged all this, he made all this happen. Wow. He impressed the hell out of us with his amazing keyboard. The guy can do everything, you know. It's really quite annoying. <laughs> Give me that low again. Hello. <laughs> I could explain to you foreigners what a lil is. Please. I think there would be a big sticker on my DVD, so I can... Oh man, for a guy who never speaks in public, I'm talking way too much. Okay, time for a song. Uh, this is a song I wrote uh, 20 years ago or something. You know, wow. I, I don't get it. I mean, so many people call my lyrics cheesy, you know. I, I, I like read magazines, it's always, yeah, the music is great, but the lyrics are cheesy and the stories are cheesy. I don't get it. <laughs> So this next song, this next song is about an alien and a hippie and a <laughs> barbarian <laughs> in space. In space. Oh my god! That is awesome. That was a great speech. You actually got to understand his personality more, and that's kind of what I was really looking forward to with that. Um, speech and he is hilarious and witty and I can see his nervousness but how that makes him even more charming and um, you just know he's a genius amongst <laughs> a, a bunch of other geniuses in this project and um, it's been quite the journey actually going through this universe concert and there's just so much material and albums to go through um, I can't wait to eventually finish this so i can start like attacking some of the albums more um because i want to get the full picture to some of these stories that they were trying to say because even though like he's saying his lyrics and what it's about might be pretty funny <laughs> i'm gonna call it funny um it's just it catches my attention i grew up on sci-fi i grew up on the imagining just the craziness and the amazingness of what life could be out there so you guys have been the best thank you so much if you're all the way at the end of this um i hope you enjoyed his speech just like i did peace and love y'all god bless don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Special shout out to our Patreon supporters, we appreciate you so much.